Welcome back to the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty, everybody, where it's season 13, and we've already finished the Warhawk season, but we have one more game to go. Today we're going to watch the national championship game between Nebraska and Army, two teams that we actually played against this season. Looks like Army is the favorite for Kirk Herbstreet here, but... We know Nebraska is really good, and they had the Heisman Trophy winner Jason Slaughter at running back this season. Now, we actually defeated Army 37-34 in a mid-season matchup, and we lost to Nebraska 27-23. These are both really good running teams, but they run in their own ways. Obviously, Army runs the option offense, whereas Nebraska, they just have one of the best players in college football, the Heisman winner. But Nebraska has a pretty good run defense. At the same time, Army does. So something's gotta give here between these two powerhouses in year 13. Here's a look at Nebraska, and Jason Slaughter is their number one player. He ran for 2,100 yards so far. He'll add to that today. He also had 22 rushing touchdowns. They have Jeff Wright at wide receiver, Jeff Gary at quarterback. Gary had 21 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. There are a lot of good defensive players as well for Nebraska, and one of the keys against a team like Army is you have to be able to defend a variety of different kinds of runs. They're going to run inside, they're going to run misdirection, they'll run option. Can you stop all of it? It's certainly not easy. Army certainly has the quarterback advantage with Mike Hill at 94 overall, but how much are we really going to see him throw today? He certainly can if needed, but this team is at their best when they are running their option offense. Now, Richard Evans is not going to play in this game. He had a pretty nice season, and now he is done for the year which means they'll have to go to their depth. And overall, if you look at the top ratings here, they're not as strong of a roster as Nebraska. So missing one of their top offensive players, how do they handle that? Donnie Gilbert will play a lot more, Roy Thomas, the true freshman as well. And at fullback, Brian Watts, who had a really big game against us, but didn't play a whole lot or get the football a whole lot outside of that dominant game. Overall, when I look at these two teams, I have to give the edge to Nebraska. They have the better overall team, I believe, better defense, and they have the Heisman winner, Jason Slaughter. But, remember that Army won the national championship a year ago, so they can definitely pull this off. Let's go. And there is the Heisman winner, everybody, Jason Slaughter. I can't wait to see what he has in store today. I know that he had a huge day against us, but at the same time, you know, it was impressive to watch a running back play that well, especially against a team that normally plays such good run defense. Now, both teams have top five scoring defenses and have been good against the run all year. So I'm really excited to see if those trends hold and we have like this weird low scoring game or if either team is able to really pull away and have their running game continue their dominance. So here we go at the Rose Bowl, Army and Nebraska. I do have to at least do the opening kickoff here, but I won't be controlling anything else from this moment in the game. Welcome to the national championship, everybody. Nebraska and Army underway, and we'll see the Army offense up first. And I'm very interested to see, without their top running back, how does this team function? Is there something that's going to be really missing from the offense? Well, they're going to start out. Mike Hill flips outside, and a good gain by Thomas on the outside. Part of what makes Army so good, though, is that I do think a lot of their success relies on the scheme, the fact that they can go in so many different directions. It's not always about just raw talent. So here is Hill again on the keeper, and he's stuffed. Well defended by Nebraska, first third down. Will we see a throw, though? You can certainly run it here, and they will try it, and there's nowhere to go for Donnie Gilbert. He loses three. 
Great start for the Nebraska defense. And here is Nebraska, everybody, coming out in the I formation. And it's a play action on first down. And the pass is off the mark from Jeff Gary. Three receivers on the field for Nebraska and the first run of the day, Jason Slaughter. Now at 21-14 for rushing yards on the year. Third down now for the Huskers and it's a run inside. There goes Slaughter right through the middle. He'll take this one inside the 20 and pick up 39 yards. It just takes a little room, and even if there is no room, he might just run through you anyway. Well, there's the new school record, Jason Slaughter, here in his last college game. From inside the 15, on the rollout, going to the end zone, overthrown by Jeff Gary. Army trying to get the field goal try as the throw goes over the middle and is nearly picked by Brian Irvin. And Army, after allowing the long run, at least do get the stop. So a decent recovery here at the end. Nebraska could not complete any of their three passes. And now for a three-point lead, the field goal is good. All right, drive number two for Army. They failed to get a first down on their first drive, and Watts gets stuffed by Michael Weldon. Again, third down for Army, not put into the best situations here early. Hill in the pocket, throws underneath, and Army picks up four, and that is a three and out. Nebraska playing some really good defense to open, and they'll get back to their running game. Slaughter up the middle, and he's got 10 more. Full house backfield now, and the give goes to Slaughter. He cuts all the way to the right side, breaks a tackle, and has the first. Going right back to number 37, Slaughter makes a move and breaks another tackle, getting 11 yards. When it looks like, okay, just gonna be five, six yards all of a sudden, he figures out how to get those next few. This is gonna be a long day for Army the way this is looking so far. New set of downs, and it's a run inside now. Slaughter off the field, but it's another good run. 10 more yards, Ross Butler. Another run to Slaughter. He's got room outside, turns it up to the 20. That's 12 more. He already has 83 yards. To the air now. And there's time to throw, but it gets knocked down at the line and Gary is 0 for 4. Nebraska's come out and been very run heavy, but they've got to make something happen in the air. They set up the screen. Slaughter brought down after a short gain, and Army is going to keep this close. Army drive number three, and a good run by Mike Hill to get underway. This team is going to have to find some sort of consistency here. The problem is that it only takes one hit in the backfield to really throw off a possession. So second down, Hill out to his left, keeping again, first down for Army, gain of nine. Running inside now, and that is Roy Thomas, who picks up around two yards. Hill, whoa, that pressure showed up immediately. He sacked. All right, the only big plays they really had, only solid plays, have been ones where Hill's been able to keep running the option. Neither team's done anything in the air, just a couple dump offs to running backs. So what's the call on third and 11? Hill, better protection, fires a strike, and that's a first down into Nebraska territory to Brady Eaton. On the move now, and Watts gets another carry, and he'll pick up two more. 
Third down again for Army. Hill made one big throw on this drive, and he'll throw another strike to an open man! Inside the 20, it's Roy Thomas! 28 yards! Could Army's best way forward in this game be to actually throw the football a lot more? What a turn of events that would be. Hill out to his right, falls ahead to the six. Got to be impressed by this possession. And obviously without their defense getting stronger at the end of those drives, I mean, could have been a very different first quarter, but Army has a chance to win this quarter after all of this. It's inside and I don't think Gray got there. All right, big third and inches. Hill out to the right, keeping it to the goal line. And he stopped just short, but it's goal to go. This is where I would think maybe they give the football to Brian Watts. Let's see, possible from this look. First and goal army. It's a give to Brian Watts, and there's the touchdown. Army scores, and they will take this lead. Sure feels like Nebraska should be winning by a lot more, but you gotta finish your drives. I can't tell you how many games in NCAA I've seen similar to this, where a team is moving the football, but it doesn't matter when you get three. I wonder if Nebraska tries to pass the football a bit more on this drive. They haven't done much with that. Toss outside. Slaughter cuts up and will pick up four yards. Three receivers on the field for Nebraska. Throwing for it. They'll pick it up. First down across their 40-yard line to Josh Kelly. Gary did have 21 touchdown passes on the season. But it seems that when they get the chance, all they want to do is run it. And when Slaughter carries, big things can happen. He's already over 100 yards today. Ooh, the keeper now and a first down across the Army 40. That's Jeff Gary. Quarterbacks are making plays here on the ground, and now Nebraska's putting together a solid drive again. Slaughter not in the game here as Gary set to throw. Under pressure, it's caught. Jeff Wright, gain of seven. That was a risky play, too. Third down, Nebraska. Weak side, Slaughter won't get there. Great stop by Army. They've done it again. No touchdowns for Nebraska. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They're not done. Going for it. Fourth and one. I love this decision. And they flip it. Oh, no. Three on one and Slaughter's going down. A loss of four. You don't got to call plays like that. You can just run up the middle. And I'm sure he's going to find the yard. What a stop for Army. Nebraska squandering their drives. Army takes over, uh-oh, a lot of traffic in the backfield and Hill is taken down, loss of six. You need that commotion when you're facing these option offenses. More misdirection, Hill's taken down, now a loss of four. Nebraska playing some of their best defense all day. Third and 19, Hill airs it out down the sideline and is nearly picked off. Another stop for the Huskers. I think we're gonna have an overall pretty solid game today. A little bit of back and forth here early on as Gary is not able to reach the line of scrimmage, he's sacked. I think what I'm really interested in for this game is what happens in the like the two minute scenarios in each half. Do we see more of a pass heavy approach and does that favor maybe Army? Just the way that Hill has played? There's the best throw though from Jeff Gary. Jason Mitchell gets 16. At the Army 44. 
Here's Gary again, and the pocket's collapsing. He's taken down. A loss of seven. Defense spread out, a third and 16 for Nebraska. If they pick up around 10, maybe he could try the field goal, but that's intercepted! Army with the first takeaway, and they'll have it at their own 47. That looked like kind of a weak throw from Jeff Gary. I'm not sure who, where the intended receiver was. Well, there's your first turnover. Perhaps I doubted Army too much before the game and in the very beginning of the game. They've played really well. Here is a give now to Watts, getting across midfield. Hill, out to the right side, has space and moves the chains. Thought maybe they could get a little more off the pitch, but the CPU really doesn't take a lot of chances there. If they're going to take you know, a lot of contact, they're pretty good about making sure the pitch is... They basically make it so like when there's a pitch, there's not going to be a huge failure very often. Hill keeps again, and he breaks one tackle, but only gets two. A man in motion. Whoa. Hill reacted very delayed, and that throw is incomplete. I know there are some like broken plays, but I'm not sure I've ever seen the quarterback just stay under center for a couple seconds like that. Third down, eight yards to go. This would be a long field goal from this spot. Play action and time to throw. It's checked down, and that should put Army in field goal range. I'm not sure how good the kickers are for both teams, so let's uh, see if they can handle a 51-yard field goal to extend a one-point lead. Up and through! 10-6 Army on top. All right, this is an interesting drive now for Nebraska because this could become a pass focus drive if they don't like it off to a fast start or something they come out though in the pistol on first down and it's going to be slaughter to open and he picks up nine yards gets back over 100 on the day going to him again the same play it looks like and slaughter gets nine more 2.01 to go in the first half as Slaughter gets his fourth carry of the drive, and he is stuffed. Big play for Nebraska. Third and ten. The throw across the middle is caught, but only for a gain of six. I'm not all that impressed by this Nebraska passing game and what they've tried to do. Surprised Army has not called the timeout. They'll have time for a drive. Army saved all their timeouts. What will they do here with 50 seconds? Hill takes off and is stopped. Might not see much here, I guess. I thought there was a chance, but Nebraska failed, and now Army doesn't seem to want to use this opportunity. All right, everybody, that is your first half. 10 to 6 Army. Definitely a half that I did not expect. I should not have doubted the defending national champions. Mike Hill, I think, was the MVP of their team in the first half. Some key runs, some key throws, and of course, Army has the lead. Nebraska opens the third quarter, and Slaughter gets another carry, picking up eight. He's had so many eight and nine yard carries, it's hard to fathom Nebraska having six points. Turns out they're the ones having the inconsistency, more so than Army. Third down here for the Cornhuskers. Wow, was there a full start? You can't have that kind of an issue on third and inches. On third down to the air now. And going outside, wow. Really uninspiring pass game here for Nebraska. Gary pretty much throwing everything underneath. 43 yards on 12 attempts. This is Army's game to lose. It really has become that. 
10-6, Army on top, and Watts gets the carry, and he hammers ahead for a gain of five. Mike Hill looks to throw on a second down, but the pressure is there, and he's sacked. They are passing in some situations where I'd normally think they would run, but I think we're seeing a big difference between uh, their pass protection and the pass rushing of Nebraska. Therefore, we get this third down and 12. Spread the defense out. Can Hill make a play? Underneath, into tight coverage, it's incomplete. Nebraska able to get the stop. This one is returnable. He muffed it and Army recovers. Wow, you cannot have a turnover like that. Not in this kind of a game at that area of the field. Wow. Here's Hill flipping outside inside the 10. That's a touchdown. Donnie Gilbert from 15 yards out. Army extends their lead. In a game like this, a two-score lead feels like even more. What a day for Army. I really did not expect this. Nebraska down 11. Do they have an answer? Jeff Gary is off the mark. His accuracy has not been all that great today. I know looking at his stats, he had like 53% completion. It seems that in this game, we're getting like a better reflection of his accuracy rating than like when we watch user versus CPU games or play them. But here is Slaughter now, and if they can stop him, I think you've stopped this entire team. Nebraska's only two for eight on third down, and they're not getting in good third down scenarios. Gotta pick up nine. Gary airs it out, and it is caught! Whoa, David Ramsey! 36 yards, and boy did this team need that. Going right over the top. Everybody in tight for Nebraska as Jeff Gary looks to take off and will be taken down. A loss of seven, Dion Pierce. Split backfield and a quick throw that is incomplete. Do we see Gary take another shot downfield now? It's third and 17. They don't have to move the chains, though, to potentially get points. If they can get three here, that's still a win for this possession. From the empty look, Gary outside has a man for the first down. Kevin Garcia. All of a sudden, Nebraska turning things in their favor. Two big third down conversions. And they're in field goal range for sure now. This also takes a bit of the stress off of Slaughter, who's already seen his carries go up close to 20. That actually was the 20th carry for Slaughter. So we could see maybe more second half fatigue from him. He tries to bounce this one and is unable to get more than a yard. Well, they've done it twice on this drive already. Can Jeff Gary make another big throw? Four receivers on the field, setting up a screen. And here goes Slaughter. Whoa, what a hit. He won't get there, and that'll bring out the field goal team. About a 44-yard try now. And plenty of power behind that kick. 17 to 9. Eight-point game now as Army takes over, and wow, what a drive forward from Mike Hill. Carried that defender about 10 yards. I expected Slaughter to have a really good game and potentially be MVP, but right now I'd have to give it to Mike Hill. Absolutely. And he keeps again, makes something out of nothing. Throwing on third down, and Hill takes off. He will get close. Wow, another big run. Second and 10. Play fake. Hill dumps it off. A stiff form, another one. And a gain of seven for Travis Pohl. 
Army needs two. Hill trying to get there again, and he'll end up about a half yard short. Nebraska looks like they've gotten another stop, although I think going for it here makes some sense. Nebraska football, and it's a one-score game. They're looking to tie it up now as Gary keeps and picks up 10. Good run. Going back to the full house look now. And this time Jason Slaughter inside for about five. But I think that we've seen him lose a little bit of his explosiveness as the game has gone on. Back to the air with Gary. He's pressured and intercepted. That goes back to Army. They'll have it inside the 40-yard line. The third takeaway of the day. Army got the pressure and they forced the second interception. Now they're trying to go back up two scores as we are almost to the fourth quarter. Nebraska's just no touchdowns, three field goals, three turnovers. You just can't play that way in the national championship. Hill running out to the right side. Oh my, what a hit after a five yard pickup. So Nebraska's best hope here is that they force a long field goal miss and they can take over with good field position. Third down and seven now for Hill. I'm not even sure what to expect from these formations, but it's a standard drop back pass. Hill, a strike to the sideline. Tolbert makes the catch. First down, Army. Final play of the third quarter right here. Hill flips outside to the 20 and hit down is Donnie Gilbert. Fourth quarter underway. Hill is hit down. Big play by Jermaine Roberts. Third and seven now for Army. Three receivers on the field. Pressure's on the way and Hill throws it away right away so here comes the field goal team to make it a two score game Nebraska is going to need their best quarter by far they're still in it but now trail 20 to 9 Nebraska takes over and they've got to go get a touchdown it's time you haven't scored a touchdown all day it's the fourth quarter you're down two scores the issue, though, is that Slaughter isn't getting those 9- and 10-yard pickups anymore. And his biggest run came on one of the first plays of the day. On second down, Gary downfield. That is an open look for Garcia and a gain of 19. On first and 10, Gary completes it to Slaughter to pick up six. Right back to the air with Gary and another completion, three in a row. That's definitely what this offense has been missing. Gary keeping and this is what their offense can't afford, losing yardage when they've just failed to get first downs without these negative plays. Gary to the air on second down. He has an open look again. Another huge throw and catch. All right, they can make these big plays. But can they get their first touchdown? Sure, they could settle for a field goal here and they would be okay. Still a one-score game. But if they haven't scored a touchdown in their first, like, 10, 12 drives, what makes you think the next one's gonna be it? From the 25, it's second down. They do spread out the defense. Setting up the screen for Slaughter. And Slaughter cuts inside and makes his way to the 20. Three receivers in the game. Slaughter gets the carry, breaks a tackle, and he gets six. Wow, that was a huge run for Jason Slaughter. And does that run happen without giving him a bit of a rest and throwing a bit more on this drive? A 
Nebraska's got a chance to make this very interesting. They'll run again. And to the 10. And stopped is Ross Butler. Press coverage here on the receivers. As the run goes to Butler again to the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. These final five minutes are going to be a lot of fun. One score game now. Nebraska will go for two. They run it. Off tackle. And Slaughter doesn't get there. Nebraska will need a second touchdown to win this game. Army up by five as they take over. And Hill breaks a tackle and gets two yards. So if they score a touchdown here, that's pretty much bowl game. We also got to see if they can at least take some time off the clock. It doesn't have to be a scoring possession to put them in a good spot. It would certainly help, though. Second down for Hill as he's back to the air and dumps it off. Good pickup here close to the sticks, Brian Watts. Third down. Hill keeps it. He picks up the first down as well. Time running down for Nebraska. Under four minutes to go. Hill flips to his left, takes off, and picks up nine more. Third down. Can Nebraska get the stop they're waiting for? Army runs the clock down. Hill won't get it. Wow, a perfectly defended triple option play. Nebraska earns another chance. National championship on the line. This is what it's all about right here. We're either getting back-to-back -back champions or a very impressive national championship comeback that I really didn't think Nebraska could do. Inbounds and taken up the sideline. A decent return here for Doug Brown. And now Nebraska has to go about 71 yards. And the national championship could be theirs. Now Jeff Gary threw the ball well on their last possession. I expect a lot more of it here. But I don't mind a run at first. It's Slaughter to the 40. Getting 11. Right back to the running game. Whoa, what a hit on Slaughter. When you can take him down on first contact, that's a win. Still a lot of time, though. And now to throw for the first time on this drive. A short pickup to Josh Kelly. And on third and six, a strike. It's caught behind the defense. And to the 16 is Jeff Wright. Wow, Nebraska getting the big pass plays after all. 200 yards now for Jeff Gary. Good job getting off the press coverage and behind the safety. Army, what's going on? This two score lead you had is disappearing. Down to a minute 32. 16 yards away from the lead. First down and 10. And Slaughter is not in the game right now. Butler is. As Jeff Gary takes off. To the 15. Still room inside the 5. And Nebraska's just 2 yards away. I can't believe this. Everybody in tight on first down. They could run this clock down even more. Gary. Time to throw. He fires. And it's dropped. That could have been the go-ahead score. Wow, that was weird. Now they'll run it. Slaughter denied. Timeout, Nebraska. Third and goal to get one more yard. Actually, it's about a yard and a half. Single back, two receivers here behind Jeff Gary. I say you give it to Slaughter. You have to at this point. Don't throw a rub slant. I know that much. They run it. Slaughter won't get there. And there's one more chance on fourth and goal. 
Wow. This could be better than the goal line stand we had against Penn State. Slaughter deep in the eye. And they will run. Slaughter doesn't get it. Are you kidding me? Army with the goal line stand. I cannot believe it. Army's going to win the national championship again. And they really earned it here. But, but they can't take a knee. They have to get away from their own end zone first. So they'll run and get a couple. Now you could kneel it a couple times, I think. They won't be kneeling it here. So Nebraska's last chance, essentially, no way. No way! It's a safety! They got it! 20 to 17! One more chance. They get one more chance. It's not over. 46 seconds left with no timeouts. But obviously first down, stop the clock. All right, where do they begin? Oh, that's a face mask and they missed it. Wow. They should be at like midfield right now. They should actually be across midfield and like 10 yards in field goal range. We could be looking at a potential overtime as Gary starts on first down and that's intercepted! Army will win after all! Third interception thrown by Jeff Gary and Army can celebrate another national title. What a game! That was something right there. This game kept catching me by surprise. That is it, everybody. Your national champions are Army. They defeated Stanford last season. They defeat Nebraska this year. They stop Jason Slaughter back to back at the goal line. They earned it. But at least Kalispell can say they defeated this team. Unbelievable. And the MVP, Cornelius Holmes. Two interceptions. And Army celebrates another title here in the series. What a fantastic game. Well, I know we weren't a part of it, but I hope you all enjoyed the national championship. I expected maybe a bit more offense in this game, but I think we got a pretty good game anyway. The way Slaughter began, I really thought Nebraska was going to build up this huge lead. But again, they had to keep settling for three, and then Army's offense got going. And they're the ones that got all the turnovers. And can't forget, too, that big muffed punt. That was basically seven points on the board for Army. That will conclude season 13 of the Kalispell Dynasty. Thank you all for being a part of it. Tomorrow on the channel, two o'clock central time, I will be going live with the next off season for Kalispell, which may very well be the final one in the series. I do think that season 14 is going to be it for Kalispell. So be there and we'll see what happens in our next off season. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave your feedback and subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the off season. Have a great day.